Can you truly beat chimps mode with only support towers? Well, that's what we're going to try to do today for y'all. Um, first of all, I guess we got to talk about the four support towers that we are allowed to build, and the fifth that we are not allowed to build, the banana farm. Of course, chimps mode is is chimps, you know, the eye is, is no income, so we can't get any extra money in this game mode, but we can build some towers here that will help us out a lot. We're going to have to make sure we use them in weird ways that they aren't really designed to be used. We're not supporting things anymore. We are popping the balloons. And not only popping around 40 and 45 and, and 70 and 90, we want to beat all the way through to round 100. So we have to take down 98, 99, and 100. That's really where this is going to kind of go cray cray, I guess. So uh, here's the plan. Uh, I think an engineer start is an easy way to start off this game. Um, he can take down a lot of the early rounds here, and we can just jump right into something a little bit beefier. Believe it or not, I'm actually not going to go for a beast handler early game, which is kind of what they're almost designed to be. They're a pretty good early game tower, just building micro raptors and uh, random owls and stuff. What the heck is that stupid thing called? What is that thing? The, uh, the gyre falcon. Ugh, oh, such a weird name. Alright, this is actually going pretty well. Uh, Engineer is absolutely bossing it up right now, and I'm just gonna go for a spike factory in the back. This is gonna be automatic cam detection for us, cleaning up any balloons that, you know, randomly sneak through here, and it's just an overall good tower to have on your team. Uh, if we are gonna plan on upgrading this guy, though, the problem is, is the spike factories really aren't that good in the mid-game. Uh, you really gotta go for, like, the fifth tier to make this guy, like, worthwhile for what you normally want him to do. And... To be honest, I think there's actually two spike characters that I could build in this game mode. I could actually go for two fifth tiers. I could go for the carpet spikes and the perma spike today. Of course, super mines, 135k. A little bit too pricey for us today. So I'm probably not thinking about that guy. Uh, but we could build either of those things, and they would actually be a good addition to our team. Um, but we'd have to make sure we use the right combos. So let's go for at least one beast handler here. I'm just going to throw him kind of in the middle of the map. Uh, I think right here is fine. And then uh, we got to decide if we're going to go for any upgrades at all for the Beast Handler. I mean, we've got the Orcas available, we've got T-Rexes available, we've got Giant Condors available, but I'm going to just stay away from all the fifth tiers today. I don't think they're going to be useful, useful at all, unless we go full-on Puakai. And he's just a big bundle of money to spend on him. And without any extra money from uh, uh, any farms or anything, I don't know, bro. It does not seem like it's going to be all that easy. All right, Spike Factory still has zero pop. Oh, five pops. I lied. Engineer's doing almost all the work, though. 1500 of the pops so far so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for uh, one piranha one barracuda i'm gonna put him on strong i'm gonna try to move him as close as possible over here maybe he'll jump to the you know let's just move this thing out of the way it's only a thousand <coughs> it's only a thousand bucks and i think it will increase my popping power quite a bit for all of my towers that i'm gonna end up putting in the middle here all right and then uh as far as any other cross paths go do we want to get anything oh i cannot believe he can't reach yet i'm gonna have to go gray white I'm going to have to. I need to get some uh, popping power early on. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. But I also have to worry about camel blue popping power. So I'm going to have to start upgrading my spike factory too. Man, these guys are tough as starting towers. They just don't really meld all that well together. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to worry about camel section a little bit. But before I get there, I still have to worry about lead popping power, right? So uh, I need the white hot spikes. I need it. Uh, without this, I think that I would lose to round 28, as unfortunate as that is. I could try to go up to an, uh, an Atosaurus or something like that, but it doesn't feel worthwhile. And I could try to go for a fourth year engineer, which just doesn't feel right. And I could also use cleansing foam, but that also just doesn't feel right to pop lead balloons right now. So we're going to rely on this guy right here. Hope that he's just enough. It's only, what, six lead balloons. This is not the normal way you play the game, but two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a little scary, but not horribly scary. And uh, uh, I don't think I want the cleansing foam yet, do I? Do I just want to go for a cleansing foam engineer? Have him be some cam detection? Oh, I can't even afford it anyways. All right, Spike Factory, just do your thing. Just be awesome. Pop them all. You know you want to. All right, we got a lot more leads, but they're more spaced out. And he's Spike Factory coming in clutch, dude. The problem is, is uh, he's not going to handle things when there's lead balloons kind of all over the map here. So instead of going for anything crazy, I'm just going to get the cleansing foam. I'm going to throw it over here. And we get the fast engineering over here. Now, this is not going to be the all-powerful cleansing cleaner foam of deliciousness or anything like that. It's just going to help me out just that little bit that I need. Pop some of the camos, get rid of some of the leads, and allow my other towers to actually do some stuff here. All right, here we go. Starting off strong. Everything's getting decamoed right now. Beautiful. 
That's what you like to see. But unfortunately, our popping power is starting to get uh, limited quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the uh, the top path here. We're going to go sprockets. And then I, because I'm thinking long term here, if I am going to go for anything uh, uh, fifth year related with engineers, it's got to be, I think, the top path. So let's go for the uh, deconstruction on this puppy just to have it for the rest of the game. So I don't mess it up and screw up and buy the wrong upgrades. And then I think I want to go century expert. Uh, it's a very solid tower across the board in the mid game. So it's got no real weaknesses besides the fact that it doesn't really pop Moabs all that well. So uh, I might have to, unfortunately, go for the Great White first before I do that. So I can get the Moab popping power easily. Uh, and then jump to a Central Expert for the rest of my mid-game popping power. And then, to be honest, at that point, we need to go for a fifth gear. We need to start saving it for something. Whether it's a Carpet of Spikes or a Perma Spike or even a, a random engineer here to pop these things. I need something that's going to do with this work for me. Whoa! All right. These balloons are getting pretty far. It's Great White time, though. Um, he is on strong. He can reach to the other side here, which is nice. And then, you know what? I'm not going to play any games. I'm just going to straight up buff this guy a little bit. So I'm going to go for... Oh. That was bad. Oh, that was bad. Oh, crap. Look at these balloons. All right. They're getting far, but they're still not getting through. We're going to go for another uh, couple barracudas. And we're going to merge these puppies. Let's merge them. Merge them. And we got a level 12. <laughs> That's it. A level 12 piece down. This feels so bad. Great White, it's all up to you, dude. It is literally up to you. Okay. Took down the Moab. Took down all the, all the ceramics. All right. That's exactly what we want to see. All right. We're going we're gonna to upgrade him a little bit further. Uh, I know that I want to get my Centric Expert going pretty soon, but um, I feel like I'm just on, on the Great White Sharkness right now, and I want to just finish him off. So we're going to go for another Barracuda. And uh, a 24 to 24 Great White Shark just seems like it's the right answer for me. I think it'll pop every single mob in the game for us. And a lot of the strong balloons, too. Don't forget about that. He does do a lot of thrashing and thwopping all over the place. All right, so we're going to hope this is enough cam detection. Uh, and it... Oh, that was round 42 already. That was. But, oh, crap! Balloons! Woo! All right, we need more blue popping power. The Great White Shark is not enough. We need Sentry Expert. Okay. Wow. This mid-game is getting rough already. I'm really going... I guess too far on my Great Whites. I thought they would do better. Thought he would do better. Thought he'd do better. All right, I need to finish him off though. Let's finish him off. He's up to level 20, and then believe it or not, the e app, the cheapest way to do this is still uh, a Barracuda. Merge him. He's 23, and then I got to do one more. Wow, really? I can't believe that I have to do one more to finish him off. But we'll, we'll do it. Piranha, merge 24 to 24. All right, maxed out. Does it really matter if he's 23 versus 24? I don't know, but I'm going to go for it anyways. All right, bunch of camo picks coming out, and I need more random cleanup. So we got to decide. What do we want to go for, man? Uh, This is like the wrong spot for everything. Do I just build a new spike factory? I think I might want to. This The only thing that this would make sense as is a, a perma spike. Um... Uh, uh, all right, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to go for a random spike factory right about... Sh no. And I'm going to upgrade to a middle path and spike storm. Believe it or not, having this ability ready is so clutch. It's ridiculous. Not only does it pop the mobs, but it does pop a lot of balloons as well. So you can really get a ton of pop power to this puppy. All right, there we go. Spike storm. We're going to get the bigger stacks. I'm going to buy that uh, red hot spike just so I don't have to think about it for the rest of the game. I want to think about how we're going to pop DDTs and everything, and this guy is going to be part of that team. Alright, Moab. No problem there. It looks like Great White Shark level 24 to 24 can and skill it, which is good. Um, not sure why he missed the first one, though. Should have just killed it right away, right? No? Is he really that weak still? Is a 24 out of 24? Like, all of my money's invested in this guy. I mean, this is, this is like what, 6,000? This is like $12,000 in this guy. Nobody else is even close to that. Even my Spike Storm doesn't have that much money invested. But he better start cleaning up these Moabs, otherwise I'm going to be upset. Um, it's not that I like need, need, need it, but I'm not saving up a lot of money right now. And if I start struggling now, although what the heck are we going to do when we start having to fight actually big balloons? All right, that was good. I guess the uh, major issue here is that his range is quite tiny right now on this section of the map. So if we accidentally, like, jump out, we kind of just miss the, the right timing of those Moabs. Okay. Uh, you know what? We got a pretty solid defense. At this point, though, again, it's about the fifth tier. So we got to decide. Carpet Spikes, Perma Spike, or uh, Central Champion, or if we want to go absolutely crazy. I was thinking about this. This would be a really cool idea. Extra, extra large trap. 
It's only 51k. Cost us a bit, bit of uh, uh, money in addition to that. But imagine how much insta-killing action we could get out of that thing. And then, perma spike in the back. Alright, so if anything actually does manage to sneak through, it's a pretty epic combo. The major issue for us with that strategy is we got to save up $51,000. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Okay? Uh, realistically, we have to save up like $57,000 right now. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. So, I don't know. Let's kind of like wait and see how this goes. All right, the money's actually starting to roll in a little bit right now. Feels kind of good. Uh, unfortunately, our defense is starting to get uh, a little bit stagnant. It's just, it's hanging on. That's the main thing. But it is definitely not succeeding. All right, reinforced Moabs. Shark? Yeah, still an insta-kill. That's what I like to see. All right, because those are usually really difficult balloons to pop if you don't have an insta-kill on them. So, yeah, Shark's doing all right. All right, 63, though. The Shark's got to do a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, oh, it did a lot of thrashing action. Oh, the shark again coming in clutch. All right, so I do not regret my shark right now. Um, he was... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. He was a bit of a struggle for a little while. Uh, I don't know if that's actually a bad thing. Ooh, that could have been a bad thing. Uh, it was good when he hit the ceramics. Now when he's thrashing about on all these regular balloons... Uh-oh. Engineers... Whoa, they get to the very end. All right, so yeah, you do want to pop the ceramics or the big balloons with this guy. All right, bunch of Moabs again. Mm. Okay, so this is not going, again, horrible, but... But... Are we going to save another 20 grand here to get a carpet spikes? I don't know, it's going to be a tight, tight run. And even if we get a carpet spikes, it's not like we're automatically going to be winning the game, right? We still got a lot of work to do. <sighs> Realistically, though, I still want $30,000 more. I want the extra, extra, extra large trap. I think it's just such a cool tower to have on your team. And we can easily... Get him camp detection with a village if we want to, which I have not been using at all yet. And, uh, uh, hopefully make some crap happen, I guess. Okay, 65. Not bad. Alright, usually 60s for me, not gonna be a problem. I don't expect any major issues, but you know what? There are some weirder rounds in the 60s with some re weird reinforced mobs. We need to make sure we get lucky with our shark. Seemingly, I don't, I don't want to call it like complete and utter luck, but like there is a little bit of a luck factor here on whether or not he actually attacks the right mob at the right time. Um, but. Again, I'm just going to wait this out. We'll see you guys back in another, like, 10 rounds or so. So this is seemingly when the support towers do their best. Uh, right in the mid-game. Uh, everybody's doing their job. Bubs are getting taken down pretty easily. Um, I'm going to actually use this kind of early here, because I would like to get it back before round 76 to maybe use it again. Um, yeah, so we got a lot, a lot of bubs here. Uh, we got to hope that this is just magically enough loot and popping power. Uh, BFEs are getting taken down. I think... Uh, it's a lot of balloons. A lot of balloons! No, it's too much! Alright, I don't want to spend that much money, but if I know that the ceramics are specifically wiping me out, um, I'm thinking Beast Handler, right? I'm thinking Velociraptor. He's not very high, just an 8 out of 24, just a regular base old Velociraptor. Uh, but ideally, this guy does exactly what he's supposed to be doing. He's going to hit the ceramics, or the balloons, and just knock them out. The problem is, is that he doesn't actually have that much pierce. So if you don't hit ceramics directly and you hit balloons instead, you actually don't do that much popping power. So it's... I don't want to say, like, random or luck or anything like that, but definitely not, like, automatic winning. And, uh, yeah, that, that actually went worse than before. Ooh, what about a Golden Eagle? Is he going to be the answer for us? Ooh, he's looking all right. Shark. Golden Eagle combo. All right, so that should also help us out in round 76. I've got the Spike Factory ready to go. Um, Shark's got to do a lot of the work here. It's thrashing about. We're taking him down. All right. So, again, we're still, like, 13, 14, 15,000 bills away from what I really, really want to get. Um, and I know I'm really pushing for this thing, like, a little bit too hard. Like, I could go for so many options, but if we really want to succeed, I believe that this is the answer for us. Um, even if it's tricky to do, I, I think it'll be the easiest long-term win. Um, the problem is, obviously, it's not an automatic win, even when we get that guy. I've still got a lot of work to pull off here, but... Uh, Oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang. Oh, Spike Factory in the back, coming in clutch again. Clutch Daddy. Are we getting a bunch of ceramics coming out again? Shouldn't be a big deal, though. We're going to Spike Storm the crap out of them. Um, there we go. Easy takedown. All right, again, $6,000 for the uh, correct amount of money for an extra, extra large trap, but I still have to buy the previous upgrades, including the balloon trap in addition. And I'm not buying that yet, because if I want to at this very point, I could buy carpet spikes. This is another, the, another tower that I think I could succeed with. Uh, I could actually officially win with it. Um, oh, dang. Oh, diddly, diddly, double dang. Shark cannot attack any of these ceramic balloons. So, can our other towers kill them? 
and the cleansing foam decamo. Mm, yeah, not quite. I was hoping to not have to do this, but at least I'll have it for the rest of the game, right? Uh, I got a village now. All right, we got a, we got a two-two village. It'll give us the jungle drums in addition, which is an extra fifteen percent bonus. Whoa, 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 what? All right, I spent like all of my money, and I'm so upset about it. I'm so 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 upset about it, but I think it'll help me out. I went for a Velociraptor, I went for a uh, Jungle Drums Radar Scanner combo, and I need him to pop all the ceramics. That's what I need him to do. And the cool thing is, is I put him sort of near the middle of the map, so I can still move him around quite a bit. I can move him over here, over here, over there, over there. You know, there's a lot of spots where I can put him. But right now, like, this is his job. He needs to pop these, uh... I guess I don't even know what I want to put him on. First class, close, close strong, whatever. Close even might be okay, because like, he's just like right around here. Um, but I just need to kill some of these ceramics. He's not max level, by the way, but he is a decent level. He's level 16 out of 24. And that feels like it's the right... Ooh, level 9. Beautiful. It's like the right amount of craziness for me. So, anyways, um... Yeah. Here we are. Uh, guess me, the real problem here isn't even the, uh, so oh my god, it's gonna be what happens in free play. Will the Super Ceramics be too much for me? Will the Super Ceramics be too much for the Velociraptor? Will he be a complete and gigantic waste of money and make me uh, uh, hate my life? I mean, these are all real questions. Uh, let's move the Velociraptor right here. Kind of right where the uh, shark is going to be. Well, that's a good combo. Just one of each. One bird, one uh, Velociraptor, one shark. Uh, it's kind of cool. I got an 8, a 24, and a 16. So we got an 8, 16, 24 combo. Uh, this is where it all comes down, my friends. Free play! $15,000, only like two to three rounds away. Extra Explorer's Trap is on the table. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, Velociraptor is only doing so much. He's actually not doing terrible, though. Uh, he is on close. Let's move him to first. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's move him to the very, 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 very back. Very, 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 very back. Good cleanup. Good cleanup. Yes, sir, Bob. All right. Another round done. But, of course, round 81 is going to be... 82 is going to be a little more tricky. All right, let's try to pop these guys just... Ooh, this guy's not bad against BFBs either. He's not great, obviously, but not bad. All right, let's move him back down here. Um, want to be my ceramic killer. We're going to save the spike factory ability. Um, for the uh, reinforced BFBs, ideally. All right, I don't want to pop them all at once is kind of the issue here. But with Spike Storm, you don't really get to decide exactly how that happens. So we're just going to go with the flow here and hope that this is magically going to be enough to take down a lot of these balloons. Uh, going pretty well so far. Uh, still a lot of reinforced BFBs on the screen right now, though. We're gonna have to switch the, uh, shark to first. And move this guy over to the corner. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back in the corner. Round 82, reinforced Moabs. No, too much. All right, we did a little bit of a rework here. It's going okay right now, but still a little bit on the scary side. Um, if I need to, I'll move my Velociraptor back here. Uh, I don't have the ability to micro two things at once, though, and it doesn't look like it's even necessary. Round 83 goes down. I'm $6,000 away from my unbelievable, uh, crazy talk, ridiculous, extra, extra, extra large trap, and he's going to be so good if I can get him. All right, I've been fighting so long. I'm going to get this guy. I, it has to happen now. I put too much eggs in my baskets right now, and I just need them to finally fulfill me some omelets or something, because otherwise life is going to be terrible. All right, Velociraptor, clean him up, clean him up, boy. Clean him up, clean him up! Nice! Love to see it. All right, one more round to go. If we can get this before the uh, Zoma God's automatic insta-killing Zoma oh God action, do you know what that means for our defense? It's, it's absurd. It's insane. Oh, wait, wait. Is it time? Is it time? It's almost time! A few more dollars! Oh, and there he is! Extra, extra, extra large trap. He's not an automatic win, let's be honest. But again, he does everything we need to do except for the bad one. Um, he doesn't have any direct weaknesses. Of course, we're gonna have to micro with him a little bit. He doesn't pop DDTs automatically, at least every DDT automatically. But knowing that we can just go like this, check this out. Oh, Slurp Daddy. Oh, Slurp Daddy. Right away, oh my god's getting deleted is just nice to know. I mean, compare that to something like a center champion who's gonna do a consistent amount of pops the entire game, but he's never just gonna be dominant or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, now the question is, what do we do with the rest of our money? And I think the only answer for us is we need a perma spike. Okay, uh, it, it's, it's, it's the answer. I could try to go for a bunch of random other fourth years and stuff like that, but, eh, just meh. It's not the right answer. If we can get just a solid cleanup tower to make sure we can pop the bad balloon at the very end, that is going to be the best thing for us. So we're going to go deadly spikes. We need another 30,000. Oh, no, only 20,000. Oh, it's actually very affordable. I think you can afford quite a few things here. And the nice thing about my extra large trap is going with the middle path here allows me to uh, 
send him wherever I I want him to. So I can move him all the way, the very, very back over here if I want to, and just slurp him up in the middle um, if I ideally can. Okay. Um, and don't forget that I got a lot of other towers here, so my extra killer trap is not like 100% all full micro ridiculousness or anything like that. Like, he's, he's nice to have, but if I don't slurp them up properly, it doesn't even matter. One other nice thing about this thing is if you decide to just move him a smidge over, it deletes the old trap and then sets out a new trap so it can give you even more popping power instead of waiting for it to get full. Um, it could be like 90% full, stuck up one mob, and then it's gone for a little while, right? Of course, faster engineering does make him faster engineering, um, faster traps, but doesn't really matter that much for us. All right, this is going good enough. Slurping out most of these on my gods, a few moabs, trying to sneak through, but we're going to say no. Uh, could micro, but it's not even worth it. $10,000 away from uh, a perma spike, dude. All right. Oh, DDTs, DDTs. All right. M -m -m micro, micro time. Micro. No, no, no. Micro, micro, micro. All right. We're going to spike storm that. Didn't micro in time, but that's okay. We're still good even without it. Beautiful. Wow. Again, the absurdity, the ridiculousness of extra, extra large trap when it gets to be what you want it to be is just amazing. All right. Now, this is starting to overwhelm us a little bit. I'm going to move him towards the front. I don't really want to pop the balloons on the inside. I don't even want the shark to attack, to be honest. I should just move him to the corner. But I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, so my gods all go down. Round 95 should be a pretty tough round. If there's going to be something that kills it, it's unfortunate that it's right now. 2,000 L's away from a perma spike. And we're not going to get the money in time. Uh, and it's weird that we're not making any money off these balloons either. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm just going to move it to the middle of the map now. Don't forget that the spike storm... Uh, and Spike Factory can generally pop some of these balloons, but what's what sucks about this is that this thing is getting absorbed by uh, uh, Moabs right now, not DDTs. Like, screw the Moabs, who cares about those? The DDTs are usually the problem, but it's actually really the combo factor that is the issue. It's everything combined together that is the major issue. Uh-oh, this is gonna be rough, man! We need another trap popping out! Come on, little trap! Pop on out! Uh-oh, Perma Spike is up! Is it gonna get them all? It's going to be super close, and it does! It manages at the last second! Extra, extra large trap again, coming in clutch daddy! Woo! All right. At this point, I do obviously want to keep my perma spike as much as possible, so we are going to try to micro this stuff, but it's not, like, unbelievably majorly important if we let something sneak through. Um, I think we're going to have enough, uh, enough to work through, basically. Round 96 is pretty beefy, though, too. This is not, like, an automatically easy round to take down. Um... Now, if I have any extra money, which is what do we do with it? Well, I could either go for another spike storm, make sure that, and confirm that I got the bad pop power, or I can go extra, extra, uh, or, uh, or I can go overclock. And the reason why I'd want to go for an overclock is uh, I can swap who I'm buffing. I can buff either my perma spike, or I can buff my extra, extra large trap, and make sure that they're doing the right thing, right? All right, last bloom gets slurped up there. Round 98 is not going to be easy either. Just want to throw that out there, but 97 will be. <laughs> The easiest round 97 strategy in the game. Okay, round 98. So again, I am actually not going to use my shark. I don't want the shark to attack at all. Uh, so I'm going to boom down here. He might still attack, but I don't want him to. And we're going to just try to suck up... I guess we're just going to suck up the front balloons if possible. Whatever's in the front. Uh, we got 18 grand right now. Uh, I'm going to buy the overclock. Yeah, I'm going to buy the overclock. Um gives me more maneuverability. And I think I can still afford another spike factory here, too. So, let's just do that. So, the range of the village, why the heck not? Alright, extra extra traps, slurp them next to us, get them as they wrap around, and round 98 is going down easy as well. Round 99 shouldn't be that big of a deal either. I don't see why it would be, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna overclock him right now. Uh, there's a lot of freaking balloons, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, I don't want to waste my Spike Factory abilities, though. But I didn't buy this one. Oh, I don't even have enough money yet. Oh, crap! Slurp them up! Oh, we got to move to the very, very back here for this last slurp up. The last slurp up of our lives. And he gets it going! All right, so that means the Perma Spike popped 2,300 blues this entire game. Worthless. Completely. Oh, wait, we got a Spike Storm. But we don't have the bigger stacks yet, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess the real question is, can we get, um... Hopefully, Perma Spike can pop the entirety of the bad. I believe that he can, but we're still popping other balloons here, so we should not need that. Let's overclock him to make sure he's getting a little bit of extra boost here. Yeah, no, nobody does anything. Nobody does anything against this bad. Spike Storm is the only thing that's doing uh, any bit of pop power at all. Um, let's time it so he's right on top of it. One more ability just to help me out a little bit. And a bad balloon is... Oh! 
DDTs are done. Oh, guess what? Support towers. Clean them up. One more shot. With Permaspike getting in 3,900 3, pops. Holy crap, dude. All right, so here's who was the clear winner today. I mean, we got we to be honest here. It was definitely the Velociraptor. Without the Velociraptor, we would have not been able to afford the extra large trap. We would not have won this game. So extra... Extra, extra large trap, even though seemingly the best tower ever. He costs a lot of money, tough to get, and still that weakness of the bad balloon. But either which way, uh, everybody did great, man. Um, 6,000 pops, 101,000 pops for Velociraptor, 214k for the Great White. Mm, makes sense, I guess. 104 for Spike Storm. Been around for a long time, though. Uh, Overclock Engineer, I don't want to say he was bad, but he did, some, he did some work there. And then the Golden Eagle, also a surprisingly effective support tower. The Golden Eagle part, you know, I'm just sending them back a little bit and all that good stuff. If you guys enjoyed this weirdo video, make sure you press the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.